I'm the tap man, as seen on TV, and I play the music. I'm Mr. Brutal, and I do everything else. The history started with the mayor. Uh, and that's and this it's not Boris Johnson. It was Ken Livingston, okay. and Ken Livingston, our Ken, uh, he told us to uh, have a street party right along the Marathon Route, and uh, that's what we've been doing for twelve years. So uh, yeah, highlights yeah. the diversity of London. And every year we've got better and better at it, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's about it's the a um, it's a proper community thing very important so what we have here is basically a, a very big community spirit with a very big international flavor to it and that's what we try and do we try and have that and so we want to make london look good yeah yeah the woman ups who used to live on the middle floor mm. of your block Porsche. Porsche, she, yes. She done it twelve she was doing it twelve years yeah. ago when everybody moved back into these properties mm. when they were yeah. redeveloped. So she started she, she, Porsche got me involved yeah. and then uh, then Tap came along and that's it. Well we put this event on every year for pure self satisfaction, I believe. Satisfaction It and, happens uh, outside our front door. We can't avoid it. We can't not see it or not be involved in it. It happens every year. One way and, or another. Yeah. And so, despite the fact that what's actually happened over the years, we've got bigger and the gigs got bigger. It's for the neighbours. It's It happens. Every yeah. The vibe that everyone gets from it, mm. from something that we do, the, the rehearsals that we put in, yeah. For months beforehand. Months. Yeah. I mean, we go into rehearsal. You want to yeah. see hours and hours every night. We Even were... Monday, Monday night this week, we will have a debrief about this year's marathon. To what we want to do different for next year's. Mm. That's yeah. how the yeah. Generally, we fund the equipment now with. Donations for the stage, the, the Albany, our local community centre, donate the stage to us, which is, considering it's an outside gig, it's really good of them. They know that we're putting on a, a gig for the community, so fair play to them, I think that really helps. Um, yeah, we have to hire in certain equipment for the speakers and the, the technical side of knowing that we need a sound engineer for the quality of the gig that we're trying to put on now. And yeah, I've obviously I've changed from playing vinyl now. It's now all done from computer. Even the technology has changed over the years and I've done my best to keep up with the changes in technology. So it's not always the cheapest option and yeah, we can raise through donation, usually enough to pay for the gig. And I'm really grateful to our friends and neighbours that donate on the day. Sometimes there's enough profit that we can put a bit into the... The Great Ormond Street Hospital, which we, yeah. we, we have donated to. Now we need to say about... Uh, we were hoping Richard... Sir, yeah, Richard yeah, was, so, yeah. Sir Richard was, was going to drop us a bob. Yeah, well, he did stop. He gave us a wave, us a wave and Sir Richard, so, um, you know. You know, we get a lot of, us, lot of um, enjoyment from just seeing those celebrities, celebrities acknowledge, yeah, acknowledge, acknowledge us. us. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're in a very um, privileged position. We are. They're very yeah. fresh when they when, when yeah. they meet us. Yeah. <laughs> They've only done eight miles. Yeah, yeah. it's not a whole lot really, is it? No, no, no. Well, yeah, I couldn't see you ever running eight miles. Do you think no, oh, no, 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 no? Running up the steps is hard enough for me. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, flag. Cheers, mother. Nice to meet you.
with the reaction to the Boston bombing, I said to Mr. Brutal, I believe last night, it would be nice to do a tribute flag this year yeah. with we London, love, we love them. London loves Boston. London loves and Boston. And so we've, we're going to put it up on the pretty well pride of place. Oh, well, it's, um, um, I've looked forward to this um, event for um, a while now. It's me, I'm a, I'm a virgin. I've not lived in London that long. You know, so it's my first London marathon. So I'm just looking on the experience, really. You know, seeing how, how it all goes and that and runs. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I knew with London spirit that we would still have the R Marathon. Yeah. And I'm certain the police are going to be a little bit more jumpy. jumpy. Let's hope they get involved and dance a little as well on their movements. Yeah. The world come together as one. Big up all the Boston people. We send out our condolences and our sympathies to each and every individual, you know? One love, one heart, one honesty. We are all one people living together as one. Straight up, one love. Rastafari, peace. One of the best things about putting this gig on every year is that it brings the neighborhood so close and neighbours that don't speak to one another from one day to the next. Yes, uh, we, we, we get Dance! The, yeah. Dance yeah, on the street next to one another and, and enjoy themselves. And enjoy themselves. Party together. I've often thought about having live bands come and play. The problem that we have is that really we only know anarchistic punk rocking bands. Yeah, it's like the London Underground sort of. Yeah, and I believe it's been tried before. It has. A and, year and, before and, I And I, I didn't really, uh, didn't like it. But we have got Chris Boucher of RDF fame, so, yeah. uh, which is Radical Dance Faction, and uh, we're, you know, we're looking forward to that, aren't we? Yeah. Well, the, my favourite part is uh, when we play Come On Eileen by Dixie's Midnight Runners and uh, when we get the runners to put their hands in their air and clap in time with the music and it makes the hair stand up on the back of my neck. It's awesome sight to behold, literally. We're, we're up on the stage and we can see them coming over the brow of the hill and they've already, they can hear us, they can't see us and they've got their arms up as they come up. And Rocky. Oh, come on, good old Rocky. You can't no, you, I suppose you can't beat Rocky, I suppose. Good old Rocky. He, he, he inspires them. He inspires people that are, they're just, you know, they just need that second wind. Don't they? And, and they're off again. Yeah. <laughs> One of my most memorable things running is the eight mile is the reaction of the runners with their arms in the air as they came over they're appreciating their sounds yes memorable i mean it's it's cold it's cold we have moments i li i like the um i like the, the the people at the bus stop like people at a bus stop dancing I like that. And then, oh, what I really like is when we interview uh, the people on the street and I, I get to ask their name and I get to ask what charity. Okay, we've got Sarah and Gina. Uh, tell me where you're from and tell me who you're running for. I'm from Birmingham. I'm running for Brain Chisel Charity in aid of Neil Gordon. There he is. Hold on, Neil. Croydon and I'm running for Walk the Walk Breast Cancer. Stefan, can we give the big large one for the two girls? Do you want to say something to the camera? I'm going to get nervous.
He's going to get there eventually. Max Schuster is going to get there. Big round of applause for Max Schuster. I hope this tra tradition of laying on the gig for the eight mile mark will carry on for as long as the London Marathon carries on because I believe there's enough spirit in the, the property, the property being the houses in this little community. And already we have, we have a number one on the scene, a drum and bass DJ from upstairs. Woody. No, number one. Number one. Number one, number so, one knows. And so I... when we get getting too old, yeah, well, already too old maybe. Oh but yeah, 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 but you know. There's, there's, already yeah. the kindred spirits involved yeah. i'm looking forward to the uh the the, uh, the 2020 gig actually as it goes man because i think that's quite significant so uh yeah you know um but yeah. um yeah well, I, as, as long as we're here me myself uh, mr brutal and the top man and as long as we're uh, still friends and uh, loving <laughs> each other we're gonna keep going The They're scaffolders, the yeah. people that put the blocks up, the people that come and paint the lines on the road, the people that clean the whole gig up. We, we're we acknowledged with them. They're, they're as much a part of... Because they, they know that we're here. And we know that they're going to be there. And we're working with... Generally, although some of the languages change a little bit, um, we have a few more Eastern European scaffolders this year. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Oh, it was brilliant today. Well, well today it was. Um, that was probably one of the best gigs I've ever seen. Oh yes, absolutely. The sun was with us. Sunshine, Sun, and, uh, and, and the sound, uh, the PA uh, was was perfect, and uh, the people, the vibe, people, uh, the residents, the the same people coming back this year and last year, and the whole vibe and atmosphere, brilliant, yeah. brilliant. I don't think I danced as much as I normally do, but then again, I am getting you older. kind of you danced too early for me because I wasn't able to keep up with you. Well, there's always that. There's I wasn't you of me being a little bit sort of broader around the hips, I would say. Like Monday, we have to put that into more rehearsal. Oh, we're we going to rehearse for next well, year? No, we'll just put it on the minutes. Put it on the minutes. We'll put it on, oh, the put minutes. on the minutes. Martin has to slim down for next year. Yeah. Okay, and uh, what else do we feel? What else do we feel? Come on, the rhino. Oh, the rhino. The rhino. Jesus, the, the uh, runners do it. The, the, them two girls. If the runners keep coming, uh, I don't think I'm going to stop. No. It'd be a pity, you know, if all of a sudden I set up all this gig mm. and... And nobody turns up. What would that be about? A bit of a pisser that would be, wouldn't it? Just you and me here playing to ourselves. <laughs> playing with playing with ourselves or playing to ourselves? To ourselves. Uh, uh, yeah. to, to ourselves. To ourselves. Playing to ourselves. Yeah, We're not a couple playing, of neighbours yeah, thinking yeah. what the hell's going what on. One of them two idiots yeah. up to again. Yeah. But, no, nah, I think 35,000 people turned up this year. Yeah. Well, without it's them, bad gig. without them, we wouldn't it's have brutal. a gig, would we, uh, Mr. Tapman? I hand fucking on, love you. I love you. you lovely brother. It's not sure. a bad gig. It's not lot. a bad gig. Hope you come back next time. It's coming up in three words. Um, ready to fight for the hospital and everything else. That's not three, but it's not all right. <laughs> Bustling. I can't, I can't think of a word to say, but it's great for just trawling and um, it's old. It's like, yeah, but, but without being like tumble down. And then, sorry, that's one more than three words. And uh, unique. It's wonderful. It's great and it's just alive and kicking. Death and it's great. Vibrant. It's a cliche word, but uh, um, I'd say lively and 
friendly up here. Vibrant, local and awake. Multicultural living easy. It's my home.